My children and grandchildren are growing up at a time where every religion is in danger of being hijacked by extremists. I've come to Israel to alert them to this danger. I just hope it's not too late. How you doing, my son? Sorry, did I come with you? Uh, it's all right. Son, how about your friend? You think you can do it? You I think I'm an enigma to my children because in a way I spent a lot of time as they were growing up studying the Talmud with them. I taught them how to read a page of Talmud, how to analyze it, the logic and the structure of the Talmud. I enjoyed that interaction with my kids and in a way they can't understand how dad could have now in his old age sort of become, um, you know, uh, misdirected, misguided. The goal of all religion is to bring us to a level where we can see the divinity that's all around us. I mean, the thing about religion is that it's so malleable, you can shape it into whichever direction you choose. And I believe better no religion than a religion that doesn't see godliness in every human being. My wife, Rivka, like myself, is the child of survivors. Her father was saved by a Polish farmer who hid him and his two brothers for 28 months. Rivko was always the rock of stability, the anchor when our kids were growing up. To a large extent, I left their faith education up to her. After all, children need certainties, and all I could offer them were my unanswered questions. My father grew up in the generation right after the Holocaust. The question of the Holocaust was still very fresh, very alive. He doesn't claim to know anything with certainty. You know? He's always with questions. He has questions, and uh, I don't think he's found too many answers. I encouraged my children to spend a lot of time with my father, hoping that he would become their role model of true faith. I'm happy that my grandchildren are being raised in my father's traditions. My only concern is that they not inherit my father's beliefs about all outsiders. What other lessons can we learn from the Holocaust? Not to trust, not to trust going. Not to trust them at all. Some of them are the best. I always wondered why they risked their lives. For nothing. Why, why did they do this? Why did her parents? Why did her parents do this? Tak. Najważniejsze teraz pytanie. Dlaczego państwo? to robili, ryzykując swoje życie. My z nimi to my tak żyli, bo to oni handlowali zbożem, no tak wszystkie w ogóle. Dobrze, to ja teraz przetłumaczę, dobrze? No. Since the Jews were trading with yeah. wheat, wheat the... yes, and they were very close. My so father were... always told me that his father, that everybody trusted him. Whatever he said, that was the word. I mean, she was younger, so yes, her parents knew, but is that the reason?
Ja gotowałam jeść, wynosiłam na wieczór, co przed wieczorem, ten nikt nie widział, w Gorskach, oni tam talerze mieli, no i tam jedli. A to do wiaderka się włożyło, gorsze wstawiło się z wiaderkiem się szło. A no niby to to, tamto i tak. Jak my mogli, tak my tego, bo przecież jakby byli, wiedzieli dokładnie, to by to by było. Z niemy nic z nami nic. Z te rzeczy by było. Tu zabijali, tam zabijali, chodzili, szukali, ładowali. Tu na drugiej stronie zabyłem, tu, tu nabitej. Tak.